Thanks to its recent drop to £99, the Huddle 2 has been flying off the shelves. I'm here to take you through some tips and tricks to get more from your tablet. Tip number one, update the firmware on your Huddle. This is really simple and should make sure everything's running as smoothly as it possibly can. First of all, just quickly hit the settings icon, then scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says about tablet, click that, and then it's just a matter of hitting Huddle updates. What will happen is that it will scan the internet for the latest version of the firmware, and then it will update it. And as soon as it's done, it will reset and you'll be ready to go. Tip number two, be sure to set a password. Obviously very important on any mobile device that you intend to take outside the home. To do that, again, you go into the settings menu and then scroll down to where it says security. And then have a look at the top option there where it says screen lock. This lets you put in a pin number to lock your, your mobile device that only you'll know. I'm using one, two, three, four here, but obviously you wanna be a little more creative than that. Tip number three, use the child's safety mode if you intend your kids to use the tablet. Clearly, Tesco made the Huddle 2 to appeal to the whole family, and sure enough, it's put the child safety mode on the home screen. All this does when you click it, it sets a secure environment that's safe for your kids, so it'll limit things like the websites they can look at, or the apps they might be able to download from the Play Store, and you can really set that the way you want it. To create one, you just hit the plus button there, uh, set a passcode, and then it'll basically take you through to the child's sort of safety mode home screen. And they can use that to the heart's content. It's got things like games and uh, all sorts of little bits and apps they can use on it. And then as soon as they're finished, you just simply hit the code back in again and you'll be taken back to the main bit of the, the tablet home screen that you'll use every day. Tip number four, set multiple accounts for the different users of your household. So if you and your husband or anyone else who lives in your house wants to use their own account on the Huddle 2, that's completely possible. In fact, it's an advantage that the Huddle has because it's based on Android that even an iPad don't, doesn't have. So to do this, again, it's back into the settings menu and then you go down to where it says users. Here, it's assuming everyone in your household has a Gmail account or a Google account, they can set up their own profile. And all you have to do then when you go back to the home screen, as you can see here, you just select the user straight from there and everyone has their own separate password to get into their own account. Tip number five, remove some of the Tesco apps that come bundled as by default with the Huddle 2. These generally just take you to Tesco's websites and trying to get you to buy things. It's generally a good idea to get rid of them if you don't want them around cluttering up your home screen. So to do this, you go into uh, the Google Play Store because you need to get an app called Google Now Launcher. So once you're in the Play Store, simply type, hit the magnifying glass up there to do a search and type it in, Google Now Launcher. I've already installed it, but basically it'll find it and you click install, that's all you have to do. Uh, if it tells you to install any additional apps or anything, just click yes for those and accept those and update them as necessary. Uh, so with Google Now Launcher installed, what you want to do is go into your uh, settings menu once again. Uh, and then at the top where it says home screen, you can then select what launch you want and this controls what apps and such you see on the home screen. So we want to set from, from my Tesco to Google Now Launcher, so I'll click that. Uh, and then if I press home, you'll see that instead of Tesco apps, I've now got Google apps here, I've got my Google Drive here, and all the, everything Google. You can still find some of those other Tesco apps that might have come in useful though. Uh, for example, the child safety mode we discussed earlier. Uh, to do that, just hit the apps menu there, and you can see that the child safety mode is there. Um, and you know you can find every other app you might want, including the original Tesco apps that are here. And if you want to change back, you can once again, just go back to uh, the settings menu, um, like so, and just go to home again, and then you can just flip back to the Tesco one if you want to. Okay, so that was our five quick tips to getting more out of your Huddle 2, but of course there are so many more apps and other settings you can apply. So if you've got a favourite way to you like to customise your Huddle 2, please let us know in the comment section below. Click on the following links to access our Best Buy tablets, see all our tablets we recommend under £100, and see our Best Buy smartphones.